mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open this gate right now. You. You want into Diamond City, right? What? Who are you? What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? This hasn't been the friendliest welcome. She's got you there, McDonough. Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile of yours. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? What is this place, anyway? Why, this is the safest place in all the Commonwealth, with the strongest community and uh, highest standards of living available. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about you. Come on now, what brought you all the way out here? Just looking for something. Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons I've had up? enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big diamond city welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Head on inside. You're Sullivan, right? So, 
You're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It, it all just happened so fast. Oh, sure it did. Happened so fast you forgot all about basic human decency. Didn't your mother ever teach you to be honest? Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the laws. Not really your business. All right. Sorry I asked. Hey. Kiddo, how are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> Read all about it. Institute replaces people with machines. Are you next? Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, lady? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Thrifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I'll be fine. Yeah, I've heard that before. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? What's Diamond City have to offer? A bunch of stores that yell at you if you touch anything, and a mayor that yells at you if you say anything. So it's kind of a do nothing, say nothing place. So what brought you here anyway? Mind your own business, kiddo. Fine, sorry for asking. Jeez. of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm -hmm. The mayor's secretary, the come on. Ma, even I cut her hair it. myself, and I know human hair. Be so That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Today's Halloween. You nick McDonald's with your razor. Oh, it's all twist. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Hey, who wants to look beautiful? Hairstyles from across the Commonwealth. 